Hi friends, Will here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add your LUT files to Final Cut Pro so that you can use them across multiple projects and keep them safe inside the program. That's what we're doing today, let's get into it. So yeah, LUTs in Final Cut Pro. Um, this video is not going to be about what a LUT is. Um, it's kind of like a Instagram filter for your video, but it's way more technical than that. And as I say, I am not the most qualified person to talk about that. Um, but I will say I enjoy using LUTs. I think they're great. Um, they can speed up your workflow for color grading uh, no end. And if you have a quick search on YouTube, you'll find far more better qualified people talking much more technically about what a LUT is and the best ways to use them. But this video, I'm just going to show you how to get them into Final Cut and keep them there so that you can apply them to your footage across multiple projects. So if we dive into my screen, I've got Final Cut Pro open. I've got a project open in front of me as well. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to choose a clip, any clip, it really doesn't matter for the sake of this, it's just to get it installed. We're going to open up our effects tab over on the right hand side. We're going to go down to the color section here and we're going to choose custom LUT. I'm going to drag that onto this clip. Once that's on there, up here in the inspector panel, you'll see we've got the custom LUT section and at the moment it says LUT none. So when you open this drop down, you can choose a custom LUT here. And if you do that, what, it, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to wherever that LUT file is on your computer. You're going to click it. It's going to be fine and it's going to be in this project. If, however, like me, you've got a small selection of LUTs that you use time and time again, it's frustrating to go and locate it every time you're doing a project. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to install it so that it shows up here. Like I've got these three little sets here that I sometimes use. Um, and in order to install them, what you do is you say reveal in Finder, like this. It's going to open up the Finder window and it's going to take you to this custom LUTs folder. And you can see in this custom LUTs folder, yours may be empty if this is the first time you're doing it. But in here, I've got three folders with three different LUT sets that I like to use. Um, you can, if you want, just navigate to this folder, but it is a bit buried. If we just trace back from where we've come into, we're in, if we go all the way back, we're actually in the library folder, application support, pro apps, custom LUTs. So if I wanted to, I could um, do a new finder window and I could say go. To get to the library folder, you have to hold Alt, or option as it's known now, uh, click library, it's going to take you to library, application support, all the way down, pro apps, and then we've got custom LUTs. And there we go. So that's the same thing. But what a bore that is um, and a pain to remember. So like I say, the quickest way I find is to add that plugin in Final Cut, add the custom LUT plugin, and then click here and say reveal in Finder. It's going to take you straight there. You can then paste your LUTs. You can paste LUTs directly into this custom LUTs folder and they will show. But if you've got quite a few, then it becomes a little bit hard and disorganized and not such a time saver. And so what I like to do is I like to keep them in folders like I've done here. You can see this Velocor LUT set. If you've not seen these LUTs, they're really nice, great for skin tones. I use them a huge amount on kind of client work. Um, so yeah, the Velocor LUTs here is lovely. And yeah, all I've done is paste those LUTs in, put them in a folder, you can rename the folder, etc. And then when I come in here in future, I've got my LUTs, I add my custom LUT, and straight away I can then just go down and choose whichever LUT I want to apply. Um, and hey presto, that's applied that LUT, and then obviously you can then adjust it to your liking as you normally would. So that's it, how to install LUTs. Um, you can either go really long-winded way through the Finder and find that custom LUTs folder, or right-click, reveal in Finder, dump the LUTs in there, keep them nice and organized in a folder, and hey presto. And then whenever you create a new library, a new project, if you add that custom LUT um, effect to a bit of footage, 
all your favorite LUTs are going to be available for you. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.